Body's bad fat could be altered to fight obesity. Want to not be fat and not do anything but pop a pill to be skinny like a true American? The majority of fat in the body is unhealthy white tissue found around the waist, hips, and thighs. Smaller amounts of brown fat located around the neck and shoulders are packed with mitochondria that generate heat when burning up excess calories. Scientists have found a way to turn white fat in lab mice into beige fat, a healthier fat with some weight loss capabilities by blocking the PEXRAP protein. The next step is to find a safe way to block the PEXRAP protein in humans. Researchers hope to develop more effective treatments for obesity and diabetes, both of which continue to ravage the United States. I like big Chinese zoos, obese tigers, anger animal rights activists. Aww, look at those chubby fat cats. How cute are they? Not so fast, animal lovers. While these roly-poly tigers might look well taken care of, the truth is they're being way overfed, and their quality of life is poor at best. These photos of the tubby cats at the Siberian Tiger Park in Harbin City, China, have been circulating on Chinese social media under a lighter tone. Now having reached America, animal activists say their obvious plight is no laughing matter. While they're getting plenty of food, they're also developing problems with their joints and limbs, impairing their ability to walk normally. Siberian tigers are typically solitary creatures, so keeping several of them confined to the same small space is problematic as it is. Making them fat only exacerbates the issue. The tigers also may be getting fat because visitors are allowed to feed them, either by offering the cats beef strips from a tour bus or paying for a live cow, goat or chicken to be dumped into the enclosure, where the fat cats begin a feeding frenzy. Though the park makes claims of tiger conservation, animal welfare groups counter that that's simply a cover for the production of tiger skins and tiger bone wines, what government bodies in China are actually more interested in. Let's hope for their sakes, Tourists smarten up and help the tigers lay off the munchies. Heaviest woman on earth gets set for extreme weight loss surgery. This is Iman Ahmed, age 36. She's believed to be the world's heaviest woman and has been bedridden for more than two decades. This week, Ahmed was flown from her home in Alexandria, Egypt to Mumbai, India via cargo plane. There, she's on a 25-day liquid diet to get her weight down from nearly half a ton to 445 kilograms before undergoing extreme surgery to reduce her mass even more. And going from these photos, the journey to the aircraft was an operation in itself. First, they had to construct a special bed for Ahmed to be transported in. Then, part of her bedroom wall was knocked down so that she could be fished out by crane. She was then transported to the airport and loaded into the hold of the cargo plane. Ahmed suffers from elephantiasis, a condition that causes the body to fatten, and that's just one of her many, many medical dilemmas. She can't speak or use her right arm or leg because of a stroke. And on top of that, she's got diabetes, gout, high blood pressure, and restrictive lung disease. Ahmed will be operated on at Safi Hospital, where India's top obesity surgeon, known as Dr. Mufi, has taken her on pro bono. During the op, Ahmed's stomach will be cut down to around 15% of its original size. Surgeons eventually hope to reduce Ahmed's weight to less than 100 kilograms through various medical procedures over a four-year period, meaning the battle to save Ahmed's life is going to be a long and potentially dangerous one. Obese Chinese man slips and falls. 20 people try to help him back up. This past week, a man in Wuhan, China, took a spill on a city sidewalk and needed the help of roughly 20 people to get back on his feet. From the time he was a boy, 27-year-old Zhao Huang has been on the heavier side due to a genetic factor involving endocrine abnormalities. Weighing in at almost 500 pounds, he's believed to be the fattest person in the city. Unable to get a job, he spends most of his time playing video games. Zhao's family has been trying to keep him on a diet, but he recently got dizzy and slipped in the bathroom. Following a week of treatment in the hospital, Zhao was released, but before his mother could get him into a taxi, he slipped and fell again. Unable to get back up on his own, a crowd of people started to form around him. His mother called police officers to help, but their combined strength was not enough. Firefighters then arrived on the scene and tried using their own strategies, but nothing worked. Eventually, the team of emergency officials decided the best thing to do was to roll Zhao onto a board. 
Once on the board, the group of about 20 people then used all their might to lift up the board and transfer all 500 pounds of Zhao onto a stretcher. The good deed took roughly two hours and a total team effort, but the big guy must have been grateful to be back up and on his way. Fat Shame Dancing Man gets huge LA dance party in his honor. Months after being bullied online after he was filmed dancing at a concert, a man from Liverpool, England, who became known as Dancing Man, had a massive party thrown in his honor in Hollywood on Saturday night. Photos of Sean O'Brien dancing went viral on 4chan in March with the caption, spotted this specimen trying to dance the other week. He stopped when he saw us laughing. Thousands of people reacted with disgust to the cruel 4chan post. One of those people, Cassandra Fairbanks, saw the photo and jumped on Twitter asking for help finding the man using hashtag FindDancingMan. As the online hunt for O'Brien continued, thousands of women in LA pledged to join him for a huge dance party in his honor. A GoFundMe page was set up to help pay for his travel expenses to the States, raising more than $35,000 in just three days. The dance party was held at Avalon Hollywood, with several celebrities and activists showing up, while DJ Moby played on the ones and twos. Monica Lewinsky even showed up and bought O'Brien a foot massage for his tired feet. O'Brien said, I've never danced so much. It's been the best night of my life. Unbelievable.